Hello everyone, I'm Sadiq and this is GameMake Archive. In this video, I'm going to create a ripple effect for objects in Unreal Engine. This is based on this really great scene in Matrix movie where the helicopter crashes into the building and generates a ripple wave. Let's start by creating a material for our object. I'll start by adding a word position node. As you may know, this node will return the position of the current word pixel in the word space. Then I add a vector tree constant. Now after finding the distance between these two nodes, and subtracting it by 100, I'll right click on this node and select start previewing node. This is the result so far and what it does is that any pixel in 100 radius will be black and the others will be white. Now let's clamp the result between 0 and 20 and plug it into a sign node. This will generate 20 sine waves and 10 rings on our surface. If we divide the clamp number by 40, this will generate half of a sine wave for us, making one thick ring. Now plug it into the base color to visualize it in the level. Now that we have created the base mask for our ripple, let's change some constants into parameters. This will be the max radius of the ring, and this one will be the width of the ring. Now by creating a material instance, we can easily modify the parameters to see the results. Let's animate this material using a simple blueprint. Create a new blueprint and add a plane mesh. Then inside the construction script, first create a dynamic material instance and turn it into a variable. Then set it as the material for the plane mesh. Now to animate it at runtime, I can create a timeline that updates a value between 0 and 150. That way we can set and update the radius parameter of our material. We need to set the center of the ring in border space as well. 
So also turn this constant vector tree into a parameter and set it in the blueprint. For now we can give it the location of the actor. Also set the loop option for the timeline to repeat the animation at the end. We can now see the result inside the level. Now that we have an animated mask in our material, we can use it to raise or lower the vertices of our mesh. You just need to multiply the end result by the normal vector of the vertex to move it in normal's direction. Also give it a multiplier to make it more outstanding and plug it into word position offset. Now since word position offset only affects vertices, you need a mesh that contains a lot of them. You can use the assets I shared below. Now see what happens. For any pixel of our mask that the color is between white and black, the shader will move the vertices to shape this ring. You can also give it a texture to see the movement more clearly. Now I want to add some changes to make it more efficient. For example, I added another parameter that ranges between 0 and 1 and multiplied it by the radius. This way we can change the desired radius separately. Then you can add some details to the material to make it more shiny and show some reflections.
Also a simple normal map will make it look very better. And there it is, we are getting closer. It already looks like a ripple effect on a building. Now we need a way to make it start the ripple from any position that we want. It's really simple. Let's create a custom event for starting the ripple and define a vector input as the starting position. Also remember to deactivate the loop option. And add a collider to your mesh. Now we just need to edit the projectile blueprint to initiate the ripple effect anytime it hits our object. Very nice. As you can see, the ripple starts from the contact point. Also, you can test it with any mesh that contains large number of vertices. Okay then, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please subscribe to stay up to date for my next videos. Thank you and goodbye.